Hello, hello brothers and sisters. How is everybody? Yes, it is beautiful here. Can you see how beautiful the moon is? Yes, I'm walking by and doing some exercise, doing some, you know, moment because I have been at home the whole day. But it is time to go out and walk and do some jogging and walking. How you see how beautiful it is, the, play the playground? Can you see the playground? How awesome, awesome it is. Cars parking by. The moon and the sun, the going down of the sun. The beautiful sun is setting. Yes, yes. Actually, the sun doesn't go down, but we... That's a, the language which you, we use, we human beings use. So it is going, it's going, it's going down. And it's beautiful. And it is also silent, silent. No one is walking around except me. Uh, I don't see a lot of people. Every people, every person is going to his home. So it is. It is getting darker and darker and the night is falling. The night is falling. It's coming. The moon is becoming brighter and brighter. Can you see brothers and sisters? Yes. Yeah, we have this thing, okay? Now, let me talk about, um, about the truth, about the Word of God. The Bible says we are the children of light and we are the children of the day. When the day goes, the darkness comes. The darkness is where people hide, go home and sleep and do their, you know, um, and uh, come together and the family become together. The darkness. No, nobody goes out in the darkness. No, why is it because it is dark? It's a figurative speech about the devil. The devil is the king, the king of darkness. It doesn't mean a literal darkness, but the darkness, the spiritual darkness. So it is disappearing and things are changing and the same is with the world. Now is almost approaching. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus is coming soon. He's coming soon. He's coming soon, I'm telling you. You have to prepare yourself. You have to be ready. Jesus Christ said, you know, watch out and pray so that the, the day should not overtake you. The day, the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. A thief in the night. Wow. What? What a language. So we have to prepare ourselves. We have to make ready ourselves. We have to read the Bible and study the Word of God and stand up. Stand up before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and read and meditate and pray and pray and pray and equip ourselves with the Word of God so that nobody was going to is, is, is going to be able to, 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 to trick us. Islam. Islam is growing. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar is heard everyone. The slaughtering of humans. The slaughtering of Hindus. The laut slaughtering of Buddhists. The slaughtering of Christians. Even the killing of merciless killing of Muslims is going everywhere. And people are converting to Islam. So, but we have to be ready. We have to learn and equip ourselves and help others to bring to the light of Christ. Salvation is only in the Lord Jesus Christ. Not in Muhammad, not in Rishna, not in anybody else. But the Lord Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. For Jesus said, I am the light of the world that whosoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have everlasting life, but have the light of life, rather. The light of life is Jesus Christ. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, come to this Christ. Those who are not, those who are not in Christ, who you are listening to me and you are not in Christ Jesus, I beg you, I beg you to open the Bible, to get the Bible, to download the Bible in your own language and to read, read with us and study with us and, you know, equip yourself with the Word of God and come to the knowledge of the, the God of heaven because God has a plan for you. God has a plan for me for every, everyone. God did not create the world, did not create the world in vain. But he created us for his glorious majesty, for his uh, plan, for his, uh, you know, uh, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. It, the Jews came and asked him to uh, ask Jesus in the, in the gospel of John. They came and asked him, what shall we do that we will do the work of God? What did Jesus say? Believe in the Son of God, whom God has sent. So Jesus Christ, the work of God is believing in Jesus Christ. We don't climb mountain, up mountain. We don't go up and down. We don't kill anybody. We don't vilify anybody. We don't do that. No, not in Christ. We bring people to Christ Jesus and show them the light. The light of the world is Jesus. He is the light of life. And we bring people to Christ and introduce them to everlasting life and uh, uh, salvation, eternal salvation. Salvation is no in any other name except the Lord Jesus Christ. So, the light is come. The light is going. The night is coming. It is time to reconcile with God. Before it is too late, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in Him. Believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, the beauty fades. The light goes. The darkness comes. Everything will be dark. Will you enjoy the darkness? No, no, no. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Nobody will going to enjoy the darkness. No. But in Christ, there is comes the light. Because Christ will be the light of the city of God. The city of God doesn't need the light of the sun, the light of the moon, the light of the candle. But the Lamb... And God himself will be the light forever and ever. We will move to, from this dark world into the kingdom of Jesus, the kingdom of God, which he himself, God himself, will be our light, our hope, everlasting light. Wow, what a great hope, what, what a great hope in Christ. So I call you to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, to come to his kingdom and study the word of God with us and deal and deal work hard to know, to know God, the almighty God, the God of heaven and uh, earth. Not Allah, not Allah. No, no, don't make mistake. Allah is not God, but God is a true God, the true God, the triune God. The Father, the Son, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Yes, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. May the Lord richly, richly bless you. May the Lord shine in your heart. May the Lord of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ, shine in your heart. Amen. Have a wonderful night.